Hey everyone, just wanted to put a little uh, apology in the beginning of this uh, this tools we use video. Uh, Sys internals is getting a little bit thin on content, but I wanted to get at least one more part out that kind of covers some of the tools. And that will probably be the last one. So it's a little short, clean, to the point, enjoy. And we'll bring in new tools starting next week, I hope. So thanks and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's SysAdmin Sean, and today we're doing the tools we use sys internals part three so stay tuned okay with uh part three of sys internals we are starting with a program called auto runs auto runs uh lets you see what programs are configured to start up automatically when your system boots which is really cool much like you can do in task manager but it gives a nice little uh readout timestamp. apparently there's a virus total not sure what that's for uh, but you can break it down into specific tabs like you want to say, oh, these services get started on, on boot. These drivers get loaded on boot. Image hijacks. Oh, no. All this kind of stuff. So that's really cool. The next tool we're not going to show because it is a command line utility. Handle this handy command line utility will show you what files are open by which processes, which is kind of neat. List DLLs I ran. And it shows you, you know, all the DLLs on the system. But uh, boy, does it uh, eat up the right there. Eat up the resources. And there it goes. Like, let's stop here. There's some DLLs. Very cool. But not a lot to show off. So we'll move on. Uh, Portmon monitors the parallel port activity and serial port activity. I don't have a parallel port or a serial port, so can't do that. I don't even know anybody that has those anymore as far as servers are concerned. Uh, proc dump is a command line utility that is aimed at capturing process dumps. So that might be useful if you're trying to find out why a process kind of causes CPU spikes. Process Explorer finds out what files, registry keys, and other objects processes have opened, which I believe is right here. So if we go to, say, SVC host, we can see tons of stuff open because of it and all this information, the PID file, a description of what it's got open and who runs it, things of that nature. If we had some like crazy stuff on here, well, here's some VMware stuff so we can see a different vendor than Microsoft. Um, and yeah, and then here we are with our our processes that we started for this video. Um, PS exec, execute processes remotely, so PowerShell exec. PS get SID, displays the SID of a computer or user. PS kill, terminates local or remote processes, which is pretty nice. PS list shows information about process threads. These are all basically PowerShell files. Um, PS service, PS suspend, PS tools, which I believe we've gone over before. Shell run as, launch programs as different user via convenient shell contacts menu entry. Kind of interesting there, not something I'd use very often. And then VM map. See a breakdown of a process's committed virtual memory types, as well as the amount of physical memory assigned by the operating system to these types. So let's pull one of these up. I did one for Microsoft Edge update. So we can see 47,000K committed, 1700 is private, 2804 is working set. <clears throat> and yeah, this is about it. it. It breaks down the memory addresses and kind of what was going on and how everything runs in that process. So yeah, that this is a very quick sys internal, so I do apologize. There's not a lot going on in the process utilities section, just because most of it is stuff you can do already with task manager and you know PowerShell. Nice, simple utilities, very cool. So we will call it for this one, and we will see you in part four. Have a good one.